Welcome back, this is Arcade Knight, and now with the war firmly in the control of King Robert, it's time to put the squeeze on France, because they shall finance our many gifts to the kings of Europe. So sit back on your comfy throne, grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage, as we get ready to play 1257 AD, right off the shores of this castle. My son is being ambushed by some damn French lords, so we're going to have to take care of that. Uh, but we have done so much. The king has been busy indeed since the last episode. We've made something like 40,000 gold on trading prisoners and pillaging uh, French villages. But before we talk any more about that, we need to get out of here, good sirs. And we need to make sure we help our son. He is... He's doing okay. But I, I, I would prefer for him not to lose his, his entire army uh, defending the coastline. But I have been recruiting a fair bit of men-at-arms. Um, you can see I've got 57 of them. Um, and we have been upgrading them to lesser knights, senior knights. I've got those men-at-arms as, as my squires. I, I don't think I'm going to take... Hmm, considering what we're about to go into, I'm probably going to bring these men-at-arms way at the bottom. Don't want to lose them. Also, my companions have been coming back from those their various missions. I'll talk to you soon about... All the relationship increases we've been getting with all the various kingdoms and kings we've been sending gifts to. And France has been financing a good bit of it. You know, we've got some prisoners that, that have financed it as well as our uh, various trading. Because, you know, King Robert is, is, a, is a merchant king. He's made most of his wealth through trading. But, before we go any further, uh, we're going to have to help out here. And I hate fighting on the water, but is, is it close enough? Damn it. It's not close enough. Oh, you know what? The king still has his crown on. <laughs> well, you know what? That's fine. Uh, you know, I think he's just going to be brave today. And he's going to go in with no helmet on. Hopefully, he won't take a stray arrow to the face. I'll bring my knights close by. Let's bring the archers here, if we have any. Knights, protect the king. All he has is his crown on. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's venture off this way. Ooh, the king wants to get involved, though. Just can't help himself. Don't fall off, sir. Don't fall off. Come on. Come on. I, I must tell you, my lords have been doing an excellent job protecting the coast outside of London. Most French lords who, who tried to venture in get ambushed. Right on the open seas. Uh, so, we haven't seen as much raiding as we've been seeing in the past. Oh, look at that. We've got ships coming from both sides. Is King Robert even going to get any of this? Uh, sir, keep moving, sir. There we go. Ah, they're all up here. Make sure my knights are charging in just in case. Woo! You know, sometimes I forget this, this could be a two-handed weapon. It's essentially a bastard sword. We're always using the shield. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. King's liking this two-handed action right now. Wow. They're being slaughtered on the open seas. How dare you, sir? Try to ambush my son. Crown Prince of the United Kingdoms. Not gonna have any of it. No, sir. No, sir. All right, let's get out of here and talk to my son. Uh, we lost 13, no knights, that's good to see. Allied casualties, 16, enemy casualties, pretty complete. Hey, how are you doing? Very good. Um, we've had harsh words in the past. Son, I, I don't even remember having harsh words with you. I, 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 I feel bad if you thought we've had harsh words. I'm so proud of what you've done. It's probably because... I've been taking the marshalship away from you, but don't read into that. Don't take that personally. All right, so we've got a good relationship still, and those French lords escaped. But I'll take all the prisoners we can get, because we're trying to get all the gold we can get, right? Um, access the item pool. Ooh. Oh. Let me take a look as I take a sip from my tasty beverage. Let's make sure we put our sword and, I'm sorry, our helmet and our shield in place. All right, yeah, we'll grab some of this. Um, not too much, because I think we've got 
We're going to try to check out the manners. Um, so someone has been so gracious as to let me know that they're pretty sure that all the manners are 100% independent of each other. Look at all these lords. Protected the coastline. So proud. So with that being said, um, that's great. The more manners you build, uh, the more likely you will build more wealth from trading all those various goods. So let's see. Let's check out the manor of London. Uh, it's been a, a little bit since I've been here. Maybe a week or so. So let's see if it's refilled. And uh, plus, we need to check out a couple of things. Check out to make sure we're building all we can to make all the gold we can. Uh, nope, not the marshal. Seneschal, let's build something. Oh yeah, there's plenty to build. How about... Hmm. This doesn't really make us much, much gold though. Pottery. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, what's in the treasury? <gasps> There's 60,000 dinars in the treasury! Um, I will collect... Uh, pretty much all 60,000. Yeah, um, wow. I had no idea there was so much gold in the treasury here. Uh, also, guys, if you're not familiar, this marshal here... Let you do something pretty interesting, especially if you're just starting off. Once you're a king and developed a huge kingdom, you, you don't necessarily need to do this. But if you watch, I believe, at the end of Season 1, there's an episode where I actually use these guys to help me siege a castle. So let's see. You can talk to them, and uh, you can muster a new army, but it's really dependent on uh, your current population. I'm not quite sure why it's not allowing me to muster an army now, though. We're going to have to check out the manor in Sterling to see if that's that's different. But yeah, you can talk to him, muster a new army. Oh, here it is. You can muster a new army, and you can muster a huge one, a large one, a medium, a small one. Well, let's go ahead and do a small one. Um, all right, sir. Our, our men will gather into a fighting force. Be sure you have enough money for their upkeep and food. They might rebel against you. So I recruited a huge one at the end of Season 1 to help me out. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. Let's see if they, they pop up. Is there... No. There they are. Angry band of alcoholics. And they're accompanying me. And, and you notice there's some decent men in there. There's some mounted sergeants and men at arms. So let's talk to them. Um... And you can tell them to patrol one of your fiefs, but more than likely, I'm going to disband the army. Ooh, a little error code there. Now, I think it takes it out. You see, it took it out of the total population, and slowly that population will build up again. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, another cool feature of the manor system. It's, it's one of my favorite parts of this mod, because it really helps you build an empire um, if you just invest your money wisely. You see, I just made 60000 out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, just from taxes. Okay, let's go to the warehouse master. Check the tribute. Yep. Nothing. Empty. Good sir, have you been drinking the reserves? All right. Nothing there yet. All right, let's get out of here. Um, I think I have a few more companions with me. So let's go back to London and continue sending them out on various missions. So let's go to the castle. Now I will tell you, we have improved our relationship. Uh, the Kingdom of the Castile, we've got, I think, a positive four. Holy Roman Empire, either eight or 12. It's hard for me to remember. Ilkhanate, we definitely have a positive 12 relationship. Uh, the Kingdom of Castile, positive four. So we're gonna put some more towards, already said Castile. Said Castile twice, checking my notes. So Castile 4, Holy Roman Empire 8 to 12, Ilkhan 8 to 12 in France. Well, I'm not quite sure. We're still at war with them, but I've been working on it. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to send two more lords out. Um, and since we just made 60,000, we're going to go ahead and drop that off in the treasury. Hmm, i got to remember that. We have 60,000 that we have to spend um, on various gifts to, to several lords. Let's inspect the treasure. We've been doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Let's go to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And you know, I've really neglected this part of the game for so long because we're out on the crusade. And then when we came back from the crusade, we went to war with five different kingdoms and France hasn't left us alone, frankly, nor the Pope all this season. So that's why our finances have really gotten out of hand. Plus 200 senior knights accompanying you um, on Crusade is rather expensive. Rather expensive indeed. So that's been 
partially the reason why yeah our finances are so depleted but the king just had to get back to it mm -hmm. get back to it and uh we're making some serious money now so we're gonna talk about the state of affairs of our fair kingdoms and we're gonna dispatch another emissary so like i said let's concentrate on castile and the holy roman empire so let's send another gift we get about a four a positive four uh, relationship increase every time we do the 6,000 worth of horses. And uh, we'll send uh, John Swim out. Yep, yeah, let's do that. David Fernandez has been out to the Il Cane twice. Uh, so let's send him to the Kingdom of Castile. How about we do that? So, dispatch another emissary to the Kingdom of Castile. And we'll send another gift. David Fernandez. Yes, do that. Okay. So I've just been continually sending them out getting these relationship increases uh but while we're doing that someone's got to pay for it right the, the king isn't going to take it all out of his pocket um so we're going to head back to france we're going to raid their villages once more we're going to find the richest villages we can find to raid and uh once i do i'll cut right back see you in a second so i have granted king robert paris and the reason why is because we need to improve our income, so this should definitely help us out. Look at that huge army. Led by my son. Who? They're, they're mainly wounded. Hopefully he'll be okay. Oh, yeah, here they go. And also, guys, to, to get more gold, I believe... Yeah, there's a manor. So we need to go ahead and set this manor up. Make sure it is fully operational. Mm. It looks pretty bad. Only 244. Let's check out this manor of Paris. It's King Louis... Oh, King Louis, you have done nothing with this manor. I shall do better. I shall do better. So, uh, we may have to invest a little bit of gold coin. Uh, let's check out the treasury here and see what we're dealing with. Uh, let's expect the treasury. Well, my goodness. That's quite a bit of gold coin you have in your treasury as well. All right, well, let's build some things. So... Let's improve the housing. Um, all right, build it. And then let's build hmm, an oil press. Yeah, let's build that. Let's also build some walls. That's important. Uh, let's see. Well, the next, yeah, blacksmith. That, that brings in the money a lot. And then a tannery. Yep. Yeah. And a wool workshop. And what else? What else? Sure, why not a brewery? And a winery? And a pottery? And then we might as well... Oh, we don't have enough gold. We spent it all. We spent all, almost all of it. Uh, let's see. Um, so I will just grab the rest of that because we pretty much built everything we need all right good uh taxes currently the tax policy is set to medium sure um that's fine well king louis it looks like i took all your gold <laughs> and I, I built up the uh the manor with your gold let's see if he left some tribute in the tribute storage probably not because he didn't even build anything Wait a minute. There's plenty of stuff in here. See, I, I see this kind of stuff and it makes me think that it's all connected somehow. I don't quite understand it. But I'm going to grab these goods and we're going to sell them. See how much we make from this. So now we've got three fully operational manors. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, soon Paris will be up and running. So we've got that going. Of course, we've got the Manor of London, and then we've got the Manor of Stirling. We used to have the Manor of Norwich, uh, but my son now has that. It's somewhere in that area. So, let's see. I doubt Paris has enough gold. I've been selling a lot there. We, we can check it out. Yeah, you see, there's nothing there. So, I'm going to look for another place to sell these goods. Oh, we're, we're, we're running out of... We're running out of space. We're running out of places to sell goods. What we could do... That's really far. I'm trying to find a place we can raid and sell close to. I've already sold there. We may have to take the mountain pass. So we'll raid like one of these villages. Deep in 
enemy territory. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. All right, let's let's head this way. So what I'm going to do is, oh wait, John Swum is back. Holy Roman Empire. Now we've got a 16 plus 16. You know, my goal is, let's get high enough to where we can uh, start a trade agreement with trade agreement with them, because that is an option in this game, and I've never really been able to get that thing going. Oh no, the morale of my troops is extremely low. I just lost some senior knights. That is not good. We're gonna have to fight somebody soon to bring up the morale of my men. I've been going to the various ladies of the night in the taverns, but apparently that wasn't enough. And we've got plenty of food, right? How's the food? Yeah, we're good on food. Not, not a ton. Alright, we're gonna have to make it here. Talk to one of the ladies of the night. Hopefully, we'll run into a French army that we can fight. Yes, yes, yes. The French continue to give us problems, and I'm gonna read you, sir. Perhaps on the way. Let's do that. You ask and you shall receive. Here we go. A nice French army to fight. Make sure all my men are upgraded. Ah, there we go. Let's upgrade. Wow, look at all these men at arms. Let's bring them back to the squire section so we can get them upgraded as soon as possible. Let's see how many die and how many survive this battle. Also, can't forget to bring up my lion guard. They've been slowly coming back to me. We've gotten major increases. Castile's now at 8. Holy Roman Empire now at 16. Ilkhanate at 12. Um, so I'm going to keep bringing those up. Try to bring those relationships up to about 20. All those those kingdoms. And then we'll start moving on to the smaller ones. Like the Kingdom of Navarro and uh, Crown of Aragon and Teutonic Order. Those, you know, Kingdom of England down in Spain too. We'll bring those up to maybe 8 or 10, 8 or 12 in the in the near future. But um, I want to really focus on the Holy Roman Empire. Remember, I want to get that trade agreement. That would be amazing. Yes, 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 sir. I'm not even going to talk to you. I say just surrender or die. That's what everybody wants. Everybody wants to see you surrender, sir. All right. Everybody hold this position. Actually, everybody follow me. I'm going to bring my squires close. Infantry. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect infantry. Hold this spot here. The archers behind. Knights hold the top of that that hill. Um, let's put you men standing a little bit closer. This. Oh, sir. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to send my lion guard after you. Where are you going, lion guard? All right, lion guard. Hold with me then. Now the lion guard hold. Now the squires hold. And we're going to try an epic charge. That's what we're going to try right now. Come on, men. Can I get my men? Can I get my men? Oh, missed him. Probably was for the best. And, uh, that didn't work out well. So my lion guard charging in. So the squires charging in. Ah, King Robert. Alright, maybe, maybe we can get a good charge going this way. After we get rid of these few lords. Let's go. Squire's charge. Squire's charge. Oh, that's what I want. Oh, a French lord is exactly what I've been... Oh, you got a nice horse, sir. I would appreciate it if you, if you leave it be and let me get that horse. Don't touch his horse. That's my horse. Aha. Glorious. Oh, and I see a banner. Now that we know how much they're worth. Oh, I just saw it fall. Where'd it go? Oh no, he's still he's still there. Sir. Oh wait, there he there he went. Oh, I don't want that. I wanna go down. Oh my goodness. Dismount, sir, dismount. Oh, did it already disappear? You've gotta grab those things fast. I'm so mad! What did you do with it? How many of my men at arms went down? I don't know. They all... They're all wounded or... Oh, wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm so distracted. All right, all men charge in. All right, this is... King's had enough of this. 
My goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Damn archers. Damn archers. Sirs, you've distracted me long enough. Don't make me get out my sword for you. Really? I know, you get that fast sword, but that's not going to stop me. You know, that's unfortunate. The king went for the banner. Oh, no! Paris went down, too! And I lost the horse in the process. Not good. Not good. All right. So we lost six, six minute arms, eight wounded. Hopefully those eight men will upgrade into lesser knights. And uh, we destroyed them. Ooh, and we got a prisoner. Very good indeed. Um, rescued prisoners, do I want to take... Oh, I'll take you, sirs. Yes, very much so. I like these crossbowmen. I'll take some captured enemies. And let's see. Four lesser knights. Ouch. Ouch. That, that, that sucks. We can't grab much of this. We'd have to let go of some of the cheaper stuff. Yeah, that's about it. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So I'm going to head back. I guess Genova would probably be the best option, right? Ah, the Papal States offer me a peace agreement. I, I wonder what dictating the terms would yield us. <laughs> demand 8,000 dinars, demand 4,000. Since I'm not in a real hurry to end the war against the Papal States, they really haven't caused much problems. I'm going to demand that. <laughs> oh, that hurt our relationship, didn't it? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Really, I, I'm frankly, I'm done with them. I, I don't care. They can remain at war with me for as long as they want because uh, I will definitely go to war with them soon. I'll accept the offer. I'll, I'll take the gold. All right, we're going to raid one more village. Let's see. I, I think I got everything out of my inventory. I'm still carrying around all this cattle behind me. But let's raid this one village. And this is perfect. There are tons of um, towns in this area where I can sell all these goods. And, and actually, I I sold a lot of, off in Genova and some other towns that are behind us. So we're going to have to probably venture deeper into Italy. And we'll, you know, we'll check out Rome while we're down there as well. Look at this. Finally making some gold coinage. And that's probably from Paris. Yes, Paris is looking nice. Better than York. Uh, London. None this time on tariffs. But rents, that's about right. Slow, slowly building that up, getting it better. So we're, we're going to go down to the Holy Roman Empire. I've already sold in most of these towns and exhausted the merchants. Oh, sir, the Duke's back from the Holy Roman Empire. 24 plus 24 to the Holy Roman Empire. That is glorious. Let's go ahead and take a look at the reports. Faction relationship. Teutonic Order 4, so we've got some work to do. We're going to get those up. Denmark will send out to... Uh, Holy Roman Empire is looking great. Hopefully we can get a trade agreement soon. We'll send out to Hungary, England, France. We're probably going to hold off for a little bit because as I continue the raid to villages, my relationship goes down and I'm just wasting my money by sending them gifts and trying to balance that relationship. So we need to end this war and then we're going to just dump all of my companions and all the Lion Guard over there with a... So many gifts to, to Prince, uh, to Prince, I wanted to call him Prince, to King Louis that he can't help um, but, but love us. And possibly we can get a trade agreement with him as well. Uh, and then, you know, we'll work on all these other minor kingdoms. Papal States, I don't care. You, you guys can go to hell. I, I don't care what you say. All right, let's go to Pisa and sell these goods off. Hopefully, hopefully there's plenty. Ooh, Ben Picado also upgraded. We're going to have to talk to him. All right, so let's sell these goods off. I, I don't even know um, exactly how much we've made so far. It's been a ton in this episode. Over the last two episodes and the episode and in between episodes, I probably made something like 100,000 uh, gold coins. And I've used a lot of that to... Um, to build better relationships with uh, the kingdoms around. So that is definitely a great way to use your income is to um, use it 
to build relationships with kingdoms around you so A, they leave you alone, and B, perhaps they'll help you out in some coming wars. Oh, in a trade agreement, I just, I just want to see the benefits of the trade agreement. I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so we've got plenty of... That's close enough. That's close enough. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to head down to Roma and check some things out. Holy Roman Empire. Uh-huh. If y'all could start a war, you see, if they would help us out, if the Holy Roman Empire would go to war against the Pope as well, then that would be glorious. The two most powerful kingdoms, besides France, going to war against the Pope, that could be glorious. I don't want to fight him, but I wonder if we could end this... Uh-huh, you see, we've got a pretty good... Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, we've got a pretty good relationship. Uh, let's make peace. You are weary of fighting. Offer a truce of 20 days. I swear I won't molest your lands. Um, let us stop making war upon each other for the time being anyway. Very good, very good. So now if we look at our faction report, we are only at war um, with the Kingdom of France. Uh, there's some provocations from the Holy Roman Empire, but... I think we're going to get past that. There was some provocations by the Ilkhanate, but we got over that too. And with such the high relationship we have, we, sh we should be good, right? We should be good. I don't think the Pope even knows what's coming, does he? Doesn't even know. All right, so it's only 1,000, not 1,500. That's pretty good. Th this is looking promising. This is looking promising, guys. Well, I want to thank you for joining me. I had an amazing time in this episode. We are building our finances, getting ready. Guys, we're approaching the end of this season. We are so close. Remember, we got to build our finances, build our army, build our relationship with all these kingdoms, and then we can strike Rome and conquer it in one day. My subscriber Pope, whoever that will be, will control all of Rome. Yep, this grand city behind me will one day be controlled by a subscriber Pope. So make sure, guys, you're still commenting in the comment section. You're still hitting that like button. You're still giving me these great stories as to why you think you should be the subscriber Pope. Because I'm going to choose that lucky gentleman or female. Who knows? King's pretty, pretty progressive very, very soon. So guys, again, I want to thank you for joining me. If you like this episode, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on 1257 AD.